we're excited to share with you Delta's favorite new Moodle features, available starting with summer 2024 courses in Moodle version 4.3. The four features I'll cover in this video are bulk editing, newly designed activity cards, indentation, and adding activities anywhere. Let's get started with bulk editing, which is quick and easy. When in a course with edit mode on, simply click on the bulk actions link at the top right of the course page. Tick boxes appear to the left of each item on the main page and a bulk actions menu bar appears at the bottom of the screen. Select the items you want to duplicate, move, delete, or change the availability of. For instance, I've selected four items and clicked availability. I could change the availability of all four by clicking apply once I've chosen my desired setting. When I'm finished bulk editing, I click the X in the bulk actions toolbar to exit this mode. The next thing we're really excited about is that newly designed activity cards make it much easier to get to some settings directly from the main page of Moodle. In particular, the completion conditions and the restrictions on any activity or resource. This is the improved design of the activity card in Moodle. In editing mode, any activity that has completion conditions will allow you to edit the completion conditions from the drop-down box that lists those conditions. And any activity that has restrictions will have an Edit Restrictions button below them. When I click Edit Conditions, I'm taken directly to those settings for that activity. And when I click Edit Restrictions, I'm taken to those settings. One thing that many of us missed with the major Moodle changes a couple of years ago was the ability to indent items. We're excited that indentation is back. In the drop-down menu on each activity card, I can click Move Right to indent the item. And the item is moved to the right. By following the same steps and clicking Move Left, I can remove the indentation. One level of indentation is available. And the last thing to share with you is that you can now add activities anywhere on a main course page. In previous Moodle versions, you had to scroll all the way to the very end of a module or unit in Moodle to add an activity or resource. Then, once added, you had to move that activity or resource where you wanted it. But now, you can hover your mouse over the location where you want an activity between any two items and click on the plus symbol. And you can then add an activity or resource right where you'd like it to go. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoy these new Moodle features. Happy moodling!